What's up, y'all? I'm like the only one up, per usual. And I am literally, you like the, I'm loving the tree. I've never been a one to be like, oh, let's keep the lights on all night. Who's going to be looking at it? But anyway, I'm really like loving how it's looking. It's like simple or basic. The kids have literally been tearing up the can the candles, the candy canes off the tree. And y'all need to check out five below if you haven't already for candles and whatnot. So I basically, hold on y'all. Let me get y'all going here. I basically, it's going to be a little TMI. Brace yourself. Aunt Flo decided to hang out with me today. Woke up and I'm like feeling good. Got a lot of energy. And I'm like, Ur. so when that happens, I still push through. I'm still going to work out. But what I normally do, guys, when I'm having a little situation going on, I drink tea. Um, maybe like the first and the fourth day, I might have to take some Tylenol just, just because um just to take the edge off they've get improved a lot uh since i've been taking these new items or whatnot but i turn on i watch superhero fitness tv superhero fitness tv pop sugar fitness here on youtube i have to say that live for the people in the back um that's how I've been working out at home, y'all. And literally, I haven't been to a gym in a long time. I mean, we all know it's pandemic outside. But to date, and I'm going to do a video. I haven't reached my goal yet. But I lost 32 pounds to date, as of today. And when she comes and hangs out, I literally do the same workouts every day. Um, but I'm going to do this on low impact and not high impact just because she's here and I still want to move, if that makes any sense. So, and then also I will, um, not, I eat normally during my fasting time. So normally when I wake up super early in the morning, I'm, I'll do my first 15. If you guys don't know what that is, go back and look at my videos. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll put it down below for y'all. Anyway, I do my first 15 and then I drink like my tea and whatnot. And then I kind of like wait around a little bit and then I brace myself and I do my workout. Now, normally when she's here, I won't push it past working past 40, working out past 40 minutes. I'm just not going to do it unless I'm just feeling really amped. Normally because I'm working from home and I don't want to tire myself out too much. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys, excuse me, the workout that I do or whatnot. And then I also got, also share with you guys what I eat after my workout when um, she's here. That's helping with the, that helps with the pain, the cramps, things of that sort. Now, if you're a person that doesn't cramp bless you however for those that do this is what's been helping me and when i say i'm a person with extreme cramping it's extreme um and i have to do a video later to show you guys or tell you guys why or how it's why it's been extreme and what's been helping to not make it be so extreme over the past several months so yeah stay tuned
this is the finished product. Okay, y'all, so on this day, literally, I worked out for almost an hour and 25 minutes or so. I'm headed to go volunteer, so I need fuel. This is all plant-based, as you see here on the plate. So, we have a veggie toasted sandwich that has keto bread, a baked sweet potato. I have my fruit uh, that I sprinkle cinnamon on top. Also, some pepperoni peppers, a little bit of salad thrown in there. And some veggie dips. I rave about the bitchin' sauce. Uh, you can also, if you don't have access to that, you can use um, some type of chickpea or hummus for dipping sauce. But yeah, guys, I like to get really fueled um, before I head out after a workout just because I've taken so much strength uh, and nutrition out of my body and I need to put the well, not yeah, I need to put some good stuff in it. So I got rid of some bad stuff and I need to put some good stuff in it. I also normally have some type of hot drink before leaving the house. So this day I had coffee with vegan creamer, like a oat milk creamer is what I had this day. Uh, and I also fill up on water as well. Listen. It takes a lot of mental capacity to come here every week. Okay, y'all. So I decided to try the Design Essentials Natural Agave and Lavender Blow Dry and Silk Press line. This line is designed to be moisturizing, help with detangling, also not help you uh, have any heat damage or lose your curl pattern. So... This is missing the number four. Sally's was out, guys. However, I used an alternative. I used the uh, Silk Elements. It is a oil-based thermal silk uh, protectant, and this is how it went. So excuse my appearance. However, we get ready to try this out. So, y'all see this? I just left work. Wasn't feeling good. Um and lay down and all that good stuff. So I have these products I'm getting ready to try. And so many different reviews. I'm straightening my hair just simply because I work outside, it's cold, and I don't want my hair to break. So these products say you can straighten your hair safely without heat damage. So we're gonna prove it. If it actually works for me, my hair is already technically clean. It just has a little bit of product in there. So we're going to do this. We're going to do the whole step. It's like one, two, three, four. So we're going to do this one, two, three. And then I have fourth one. Uh, when I watch so many videos, they're saying that the it's like a serum, thermal serum, whatever. I chose to get a different one because the reviews was like, yeah, this ain't really doing nothing. So. We got a different one. So anyway, we have this. Um, and you can only get this in Sally's. Did I mention that? This right here. This is the Agave and Lavender Blow Dry and Silk Press Collection by Design Essentials Nationals. Hey y'all, so if this was summer, this product would definitely be in my hair like as a leave-in but and i promise you like the smell it smells good but it smells like familiar i don't know somebody else has the same scent in their products some other natural line but yeah and it's really soft and manageable so I'm coming up on that three minute mark. So I'm just going to give y'all a general idea how it looks. Oh, this is what I was thinking as I was shampooing my hair, not to piggyback, but to piggyback. This is like the perfect shampoo or system to use. Even if you don't want to straighten your hair, you can stop at shampoo and conditioner uh if you had braids in your hair okay so i had to show y'all real quick this is what i mean by 
if it was summertime, I would leave it in. Y'all see? And all I did was, I, I didn't even finger cord. All I did was do like this. And pal, we got action. Okay, y'all. So, my daughter just blow dried it. And this is what it's looking like. All of that jazz. So overall, so far, I do like the products. Um, hey y'all, so what's up? I literally prepped this salad last night. I know it sounds crazy, right? But I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys how simple it is. I just took some uh organic romaine lettuce everything in here is organic guys this is pretty much the way to go unless it's not at the store for me um but it doesn't matter if you use conventional or not but this colorful salad as many colors that you can get in the salad the better i'm going to be adding some banana peppers or if you like to call them pepperoni peppers or whatever um some minced garlic and some bitchin' sauce. And I just need a little bit of this stuff, guys. Okay, guys. So, these crackers. And I might have shared them in a the haul. I don't remember. But these are Simply Meals Almond Flour Crackers with sea salt. And these are boxes big, y'all. I came from Costco's. These are vegan. I'm going to show you the specs on these as well. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but hopefully you guys get that. But yeah, so the only ingredients that are in here, these are um, corn-free, grain-free, vegan, and paleo-friendly. So um, nut, seed, flour, um cassava flour, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, organic onion, organic garlic, rosemary extract for freshness, and it also contains almonds. But yeah, that's all that's in here. So serving size, you can have 17 crackers. They're small, guys. Brace yourself. 450 calories. So yeah. I'm gonna be having a couple of, I'll probably have half the serving size. And one of these, this that's it bars. This is, we're on our second bag now. So it's worth it, but just get my fruit in. And same thing with that Playo, vegan, it's all kosher, all that good stuff. So that's what I'll be having for lunch today. Um, I, what's today? December. Fourteenth or fifteenth, something like that. But yeah, so I made, I made a video and I told you guys how I had issues, camera, computer, all that good stuff. Yeah, so we're using the good old trusty phone. I'm hiding from the kids and my mom snitching. Mommy, what are you doing? Mommy, who was crying? Who was crying? Ow! I really dislike this tree, but it's so pretty, mom. Man, it hurt me so bad. Mommy. What I have for dinner? Salad with some of that green chili. It's kind of combo. I have some, do some leftover tuna in there. Some of these almond flour crackers. It has peppers and things. And I'm having my herbal tea. Guys, like literally, I don't know. I've been having a migraine. And I don't normally get those. 